luck, Bob. Oh my god, his nose. Whoa, goodbye, Bob. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god. Fell from the sky. Alright, guys. Beck Bro Jack here, bringing you another Volts tutorial. Now, today we're going to be going over the railgun and the cruise launcher which are two um, machines in ICBM and we're going to be testing on my friend Bob over here and he decided to be the test subject for the t for today he's really cool, he's got nipples and a belly button alright, he has a pretty cool hat too forgot to mention that alright so the railgun and the cruise launcher the railgun fires these two bullets, conventional and antimatter and this is how you make the railgun it's a radar gun, diamonds, elite circuits and steel plates so we're going to start that off first. We're going to make it daytime. Okay, so you're going to need a power source. I just use this battery box with an infinite battery. And you're going to need some wire to hook it up. So basically how this works is you can put it in your bullet of choice. There's antimatter and conventional. Conventional bullets are actually kind of expensive. There's bronze and a diamond. It gives you four. And the antimatter bullets are just two conventional bullets and an antimatter. So this is how you fire a conventional one. You're going to hit mount, and you can aim anywhere you want. For now, we're, we'll test on Steve last, or Bob, whatever his name is. I don't care. So we're going to aim, let's try over there. Now you press right-click to get in, and then right-click to get out. And then you're going to just pull a lever or any sort of red redstone, and it'll make this cool, awesome sound, futuristic, and then real gun. So it does a pretty decent explosion, and it also sets fire to everything in the area. Alright, now, let's try, we'll do the antimatter bullet last. So that's basically how the railgun works. The railgun is pretty cool, it does take up a lot of power though. It takes 3 megajoules, so that is a lot, and that's per fire. So it's really, it's really hard uh, to fire, you need a good um, amount of electricity, but it's not really that hard to make. And as for the cruise launcher, this is how you make it. It's so a launcher platform tier 3, and a launcher platform support flame tier 3, and you just need some steel plates. Okay, so the purpose of this is basically you can fire any uh, missile from it, and it fires it in a straight line. So how to um, set up where you're going to fire it, you're going to need a radar gun. This is how you make a radar gun. It's not really that hard, and then you're going to have to charge it. So anywhere you want to fire it, whoops. Anywhere you want to fire it, I'm just going to click, we'll fire it at that cactus right there. You're going to right click, and then you're going to right click on your cruise launcher, and it'll automatically aim. So we'll just fire a conventional missile right now, just to test. It can fire really any missile. I'll try um, some of the higher missiles later. So you just right click it in. You can also type in the coordinates if you don't have a radar gun, and you can set the frequency too. So as you can see, the missile is in there, and it also needs a redstone source. Boom, cactus go bye-bye. So that was pretty cool. They both make really cool sounds. And now we'll try the antimatter bullet on Bob. Alright. Good luck, Bob. We'll shoot. A mm, little inappropriate. We'll shoot at his nose. Alright, so we are going to fire this. Good luck, Bob. Oh my god, his nose. Whoa! Goodbye, Bob! As you can see, that's pretty darn powerful. It killed Bob. He perished. Oh, he, was, he was a good guy. It's alright, though. Alright, all will perish at the power of the railgun. So now we'll try... Let's try a nuke out of here. As you can see, it's a little bit larger. It's, as you go up on the tiers, the missile does get larger, so... Alright, yeah, so that's basically it. The railgun and the cruise launcher. Pretty good weapons for ICBM. Not really that hard to make. And, uh, yeah, for the cruise launcher, anything you want, you can fire from it. The railgun, antimatter bullets, and conventional bullets. So, uh, alright guys, check out my other Volts tutorials. See you later.